Hi, my name is Kevin Roy. I'm a product marketing manager here at Fingerprint. And today I'll be going over a personalization demo on demo.fingerprint.com to showcase how visitors can get a tailored experience with Fingerprint without having to create an account using Fingerprint's visitor identifier. So I'm going to scroll down. Uh, it looks like I'll be ordering some coffee today. Could use some caffeine. So I'm going to go with the extra strong coffee to start. Add that to my cart. And actually, I'm going to see if there's a decaf option so I can have some coffee later in the afternoon without getting too wired. Great, there's decaf coffee. I'm gonna add this to my cart as well. So to recap, I've got a decaf coffee and an extra strong coffee in my cart. And under last searches, you'll notice that it will save my search uh, where I searched for a decaf option. So to simulate uh, a visitor going back to a website with expired cookies, I'm actually gonna go into incognito mode right here. And I'm going to go right back to the demo. There we go. All right, I understand. Uh, and if you'll notice, my cart is still intact and I still have my last save search. So this is showcasing um, fingerprints visitor identifier being pervasive through a new window, uh, through expired cookies, and incognito mode is the vehicle that we can do that in. So I'm actually gonna do one step further. I'm gonna go back to this web page, uh, the non-incognito version, and I'm actually going to delete cookies on this page and reload the page. So I'm on Chrome right now. I'm gonna go to the lock button, cookies and site data, manage cookies and site data, and I'm gonna delete the demo.fingerprint.com cookie as well as the fingerprint.com cookie. I'll click done. Uh, and if you'll notice, it says up here, new cookie settings will take effect after reloading the page. So when I quick, quick reload, Theoretically, this shouldn't allow me to save a cart if this was based purely off cookies. But since we're using a fingerprint visitor identifier, um, my cart and my save history should still be there. So I'll reload the page. And my cart is still intact. Decaf coffee, extra strong coffee, and my search has been saved as well, too. So this is really a great demo to showcase how personalization can be used on e-commerce websites, not just ordering coffee. So um, if visitors looking at bookcases, for example, and they come back at a later date with expired cookies, if they're using fingerprint or if the company is using fingerprint, um, their search history, history will be saved. And we can also do personalization methods where we're giving that returning anonymous user a specific landing page that might have items that they were previously looking at or items associated with some of their search history to really give them a tailored experience without having them to be logged in. So for other demos, uh, you can go to demo.fingerprint.com again to look up different use cases of fingerprint. We have other demos like coupon fraud, credential stuffing, loan risk, payment fraud, paywall, web scraping prevention, of course, personalization, the one I shared with you guys today. Thanks for watching.